How did it come to this, folks? How did all of these wireless mics end up here? In the beginning, the DJI mic was announced, and I knew I had to have it. It was on back order forever. Finally, it came, though. But before it came, a little company reached out to me called Seven Rims, and they had a similar product. And then I did a video comparing the two of these mics. And my one criticism was the DJI mic has this little charging case, and the Seven Rims doesn't. And then the Seven Rims people, they said, okay, we'll hold my beer. And they sent me this, the DW30. That's a charging case right there, folks. But let's not stop there, because there is a new competitor in the mix, and that is the Comica Boom XUQUA. Very catchy name. And this one has four transmitters instead of the measly two that these guys offer. So, this video is going to be a showdown comparing the DJI, the 7 Rims DW30, and the Boom XUQUA. So let's get into it. Let's take a look at what we got here. DJI mic, very popular. Pretty small, got the little magnet clip here, so I can clip it on instead of using the clip part. Then the Seven Rims DW30. Now one thing that Seven Rims has done to upgrade this from their older kit is obviously they've included this charging case, but they've also given you the option to record locally on the transmitters instead of wirelessly sending the signal to your receiver. The monitoring is more accurate on the DJI mic versus the seven rims. If you're looking at the live signals, I mean, look, you can see the monitors moving here, but sometimes they don't respond at all on the receiver. Little details like that add up. Magnets, keep it all in. It doesn't have an adapter for the iPhone handy inside the case like the DJI does. And obviously the case is way bigger than the DJI, but the DJI also gave you this little bag for the other accessories that don't fit in the case. And then you can just chuck it all into this one bag, right? And now you've got your kit. The Seven Rims mic, they didn't do that. They just give you this thing, and then they just chuck all the accessories there too, and you just gotta find your own bag, which I guess isn't that big a deal, but just something to consider. This bag is cute. I don't have a cute bag for the Seven Rims. Now let's talk about the weird one here. This is the Comica. Great packaging, you got a bag for everything, you got your receiver, and then look, it's got these antennas, you know, it's like a little TARS unit from Interstellar, it can walk around. I could not save him. Maybe this gets better range with them, I don't know. Look how big the transmitters are. It is almost 50% bigger. And another downside, these also have little antennas which they recommend that you use. If I'm doing an interview, I don't really want that going on. Maybe that's just me. But I think these units, especially considering that there's four mics, are gonna be more useful for film production situations where you're gonna have a lapel or lav mic running up your shirt from these transmitters. One bit of praise for the Comica is look at this accessory pouch. Beautiful. They give you everything you need right here. They have a charging cable with three USB-C outputs, but there's five devices here, so you're still not gonna be able to charge everything in one go. It's gonna take two rounds of charging unless you bring your own USB-C cables. They give you four lav mics. The Seven Rims unit gives you two lav mics. The DJI unit gives you zero lav mics. You got a B-Y-O-L-M. There we go. We're getting a good live readout of the levels here, so that's good. And I like that it illuminates the A, B, C, and D channels here, so I know which transmitter I'm monitoring. But this Comica one is not going to have uh, internal recording like the Seven Rims and the DJI have. And as for prices on these, the DJI mic is gonna run you $329. The Comica is gonna run you $336. However, they also have a two mic version that's closer to these other units that's only gonna be $250 and the cheapest unit would be the seven rims unit here for $219 or you can save an extra $15 on Amazon right now with an Amazon coupon bring it down to 205 pretty cheap for this seven rims unit with all that said I think it's time to test these out get to that showdown I'm gonna send my girlfriend out to the house under construction next to our house and strap her up to all three of these mics, and we're gonna do some tests here. Audio quality, transmission signal, all that good stuff.
This will be our testing area. It's got a few walls to separate us from where the receivers are, and they're about 20, 30 feet away. So get some lights in here, make it look pretty, and let's start the showdown. Small work assembly, their new soft box here. It's pretty easy to set up. You just push it in, and then it mounts on the lights. That's how you do it. Pretty good. Time to get the towel in here. Papa squats on this ergonomic saddle chair. Now we're rolling. Just keep talking. I'm gonna go back in my office. I'm gonna monitor the audio, talk about whatever you want. I'll come back and get you once I've determined which mic is the best. What? Okay, I'll do that. Oh wait. Uh, get my beef. Fully described. I'm just supposed to start talking we're not getting any signal on the seven rims or the comica only the dji is coming through so i liked nope i feel no vibe right now kiki palmer that's my b very disappointing the dji mic seems to be getting the best signal but even the dji signal is dropping out like crazy i'm trying to like move it closer oh we got the seven rims we got all four they just all kicked in at the same time it's my birthday on a Monday. That's exciting, I guess. No, I feel like birthdays aren't fun after 25. Like at 25, you get a rental car, and that's dope. And then you don't need nobody for nothing. Uh, but after that, it's just kind of like, mm, go. I'm going through three to four walls right here, which is pretty good. But as far as distance, I'm only about 20 feet away from her. Let me try pulling out the big giant antenna on the Comica unit and see if that helps. I feel like I was given no prompt. I really thought, oh, he's running back. I'm in trouble. And I'm back. Only one of the mics is really coming through strong. I'm gonna pull out the antenna on this giant Comica one. I'm gonna have a little antenna boner on this one. I'm gonna put them all on the outside. <laughs> okay, is that good? I don't know what else to talk about. You're not saying anything embarrassing, right? And let's see what we got. Well, hey, we got all four mics. Signal quality, not great. Ah, uh, I don't know, it's like a PG channel and I'm not treating PG. I have a 14 year old boy sense of humor and it's just not cute. And it's like a workaholics vibe, but just like, with, and like it's not even that clever of a show, but it's like workaholics at the cleverness. Maybe you can whisper a little bit and see if it picks up the whispers. I love a good whisper moment. She's whispering. So. I don't know what she's talking about. So let's shut this thing down. Well, cowgirl, I think this test is... I'm not done. Done. I don't know if I gave you enough to work with there. Talked about pure nonsense. We can't all be pitbull, okay? We can't all be kicking out banger after banger after banger after mother effing banger. Okay, B words? Three days later. Wow, so I was just editing this video and what a shit show it was. I wanted to just wrap this whole thing up with a more controlled experiment to compare these mics. So I got them all on this little tripod right here. You can see the DJI on the top, the Comica on this side, seven rims on this side. They all have great battery life. They all have very reliable signal if you're in a clear line of sight, which in most normal shooting scenarios is what you're gonna be, or you're gonna be going through like one wall, not a big deal. All of these units are gonna be doing fine. And the thing is every company has like their own set of these wireless mics now. There's the Rode mics, Hollyland has these mics. Everybody's jumping onto this bandwagon. I don't think you're really gonna go wrong if you go with any of these companies. I think if you're using these for actual film productions, you're gonna be using a lav or lapel mic anyways. So the audio straight out of these microphones shouldn't be that big of a deciding factor if you're a filmmaker my opinion. And although Comica and Seven Rims include their own lav mics, they're pretty mediocre and I wouldn't really recommend them for big film productions just because they're pretty big, they're harder to hide, and the audio quality is not going to be as good as a more expensive, more professional lav mic. And in fact, if you're going to go out and make a short film with these units, rent a more professional lapel mic 
plug them into these and you're gonna get really good audio no matter which of these units you're using. And here's the thing, despite being so harsh on this Comica unit with the big antennas that still didn't get that great of signal through the walls, I would still recommend this unit with the four mics to filmmakers out there because you're not gonna find a cheaper way to mic up four actors and get their audio simultaneously. And if you plug this into a sound recorder, you can send out that audio as two tracks, each of which is stereo, and the left and right channel of each have a different mic's audio. So you split that up in post, that's how you get your four discrete tracks of audio to work with. So very cool tool, this Comica Boom XUQUA. The seven rims kit, if you're trying to save money, it's a great value. I mean, you're getting more than $100 cheaper than the DJI, and the only downside is that it's bigger. You don't get your smartphone adapters built into the charging case, and the signal is not quite as good. But guess what? Just record your sound closer in a clear line of sight like normal people do, and you'll be fine. Okay, that's it. Catch you out on the trail next week. What am I doing with my life? Howdy, partner.